By now you've probably seen the excellent Rogue One on the big screen. You may also have walked out of the cinema wondering if you had remembered the trailers correctly. Fear not, your memory isn't deserting you as Rogue One went through extensive reshoots and accompanying script changes. So how much did the original version differ from the final cut that was released? Welcome to The Final Frontier, as we try and uncover the threads of the original cut of Rogue One. There is evidence to suggest the final film may have redressed Din Erso's character, perhaps to make her less of an anti-hero and more of a traditional hero. For example, the read-through of Jin's crimes is cut from the final film. State your name for the record. Jin Erso. Forgery of Imperial documents. Possession of stolen property. Aggravated assault. Resisting arrest. On your own from the age of 15. Reckless, aggressive, and undisciplined. Interestingly, this means that one of the most iconic lines from the trailers is also missing. This is a rebellion, isn't it? I rebel. There are also indications that her relationship with Saw was edited. Perhaps because Saw was essentially what the Western world would label as a terrorist. Saw's heavier involvement in the plot is indicated by further shots of him at an earlier age. Perhaps these would have been scenes with him raising and training Jin. Some cut dialogue maybe even indicates why Jin and Saw eventually parted ways, with Saw maybe not wanting her to follow in his path and become what he has become. What will you do when they catch you? What will you do if they break you? If you continue to fight, what will you become? With Saw and Jin's relationship de-emphasized, it perhaps gave way to her further developing her relationship with her new comrades, particularly with Cassian. So we had new scenes in the final cut designed to flesh out characters like Cassian and Bodhi Rook. Cassian's introduction and Jin's escape from the Imperial Transporter were scenes that came from this process. So this exchange between Jin and Cassian where she sits in the co-pilot's chair was perhaps part of the cuts relating to this shift in this relationship. Help. Good. Good. Indeed, we have K2SO delivering the following awesome line, which would make less sense in the final cut as they both would have already met during Jin's rescue. The captain says you are a friend. I will not kill you. Thanks. It's possible the reshoots may have changed the nature of Jin's mission given by the rebellion. Mon Mothma talks about needing to stop an imminent major weapons test, whereas her actual mission turns out to be to re-establish contact with Saw. Of course, these dialogues may have been shot specifically as narrative for the trailers. We have a mission for you. A major weapons test is imminent. We need to know what it is and how to destroy it. Other evidence that indicates some changes to this portion of the film include scenes with Darth Vader on the Death Star, whereas he actually ended up with two scenes in the film, neither one of which was on the Death Star. One was in his castle on the planet of Mustafa with Krennic, where we also have some more cut dialogue. The power that we are dealing with here is immeasurable. And we have Vader's absolutely incredible appearance right at the end of the film, a scene that was added as part of the reshoots. There were major changes in the third act of the story. Whereas the final film saw Jin and Cassian transmit the Death Star plans via the uplink tower, there's lots of evidence to suggest the original ending may have been very different. This is supported by scenes we see of Jin, Cassian and K2SO running from stormtroopers in Scarif, including running along the beach dodging lasers from ATACTs. And take note of two things. One, both shots clearly show Jin carrying the drive with the Death Star plans, indicating that K2SO was still alive after they captured the drive. And two, Jin and Cassian are no longer disguised as Imperial officers. This suggests that the original plan was to try and escape the plans first, with behind the scenes evidence that Cassian and K2SO originally died on the beaches of Scarif. We also have deleted scenes where Baze and Chirut run from under the legs of an ATAT. Their deaths would leave Jin to resort to transmitting the Death Star plans as a plan B. Alternatively, the transmission tower and data storage area may originally have involved two different locations. Whatever the case, it seems likely there was certainly a large chase sequence. We then have one of the most obvious pieces of evidence regarding the change to the third act. This scene where Jin Erso faces a TIE fighter as she walks down the catwalk of the Imperial Tower. Such an iconic scene and one that probably surprised many who watched the film, but this change has been confirmed to be a byproduct of the reshoots. I would love to know how this scene ended. 
One thing to note though is that although there was some talk about the main characters initially surviving the film, the decision to have the entire team killed in the final Scarif battle was taken before cameras started rolling, so it's unlikely that the original ending had Jin and Cassian escaping to safety. Further evidence of a climactic final battle on the beach is shown with this rather funky shot of Krennic walking across the water. With the lighting and general mood in the video, with Krennic surrounded by dead stormtroopers and smouldering ruins, it would suggest that this scene comes right at the end of the battle after the rebels succeed in transmitting the plans, and seconds after the Death Star has fired onto the planet. Finally, we have some scenes that were probably intended for the trailer only, or were lost as part of the editing process without necessarily being cut due to changes in the narrative. They are included here in case I have missed some vital clues. These include some awesome shots including this one of a fallen Jedi statue and captured rebel pilots, both on Jeddah, an awesome mood setting shot of Krennic on the Death Star, and a C-3POS quote from K2SO. There is a 97.6% chance of failure. But probably the most iconic shot of the trailers was that of Jin Erso in Imperial armor turning to look back whilst lights turn on around her. This missing scene isn't really missing at all as it was never intended for the film and was part of some experimental footage shot for fun. So do you have any further insights as to what the original cut of the film may have looked like? Please do comment below. If you enjoyed this video please like, for more videos on all things science fiction please subscribe. Until the next time, may the force be with you.